Good morning. Happy Monday, May 16th. I hope you're doing well. It's me and Lane today. We are going on an adventure, a mommy daughter day to Magic Kingdom. So I'm super excited. First, I'm gonna go over to Walmart because currently we only have a double stroller. It's an Uppa Baby double stroller. And I have been meaning to put this in videos like in the parks for a while now. I do not recommend <laughs> that double stroller for the parks. It is really kind of a pain in the butt. It's basically a double umbrella stroller, which single double umbrella strollers are okay but sometimes the pathway terrain whatever you want to call it is not very even and so it can make those tires really not the best to like push you know so the tires are really small and it's funny i don't know if they've been put in any of the videos or not but curtis is hilarious every time he sees like a big bob stroller or jogging stroller or whatever he's always like look at the wheels on that one because those are just so much better like to push through the parks and different types of terrain i don't know i i can't come up with another word besides that i mean anyway so i'm gonna go to walmart and see if i can find a single stroller that we can just like pop in and out and bada bing bada boom get out there you know because i don't want to take a double stroller when it's just laney girl and i so we're gonna go to walmart really quick and then head over to the magic kingdom for a little while i thought it would just be fun curtis is working like second shift now so he's working from four to midnight and so it just that's just not ideal when you have you know kids you got to get up and then trying to take a nap before and that's like when school gets out so everybody's home and so anyway we're heading out we're gonna spend a little bit of time there let Kurt get some rest and then we'll go from there I'm hoping we can find like a reservation for lunch or something I don't know we'll see Ooh. Also, I already had my Starbs. I didn't want to risk getting there and the line being eight hours long. So today I went with my Americano with the salted caramel cold foam on it. I like to do that more than doing the cold brew, which you can do the cold brew and not get any of the like vanilla syrup. And I think this was just a little bit less expensive. If I got my regular Americano, iced Americano and just put the cold foam on, I think it's just a tad bit less expensive than doing the salted cream caramel cold brew I don't know anyway so that's what I'm drinking if you know I don't really ever get dairy or anything in my coffees for one it upsets my stomach and for two it's usually just has so much sugar in it and I don't really like sugary sweet drinks but this isn't so bad because the tartness, I guess, of the, not tartness, that's not the word, more bitterness of the Americano with the cold foam on top, it's, it's nice. It's not too sweet. It's really yummy. So I treat myself every now and then to a little bit of the cold foam on top. So yeah, heading over to Walmart and we'll check in in a little bit. Okay, so I can't ever decide if I wanna go with just the single, like inexpensive umbrella stroller or just go ahead and get a jogging stroller. You know, it's so hard. I hate to spend, you know, another hundred dollars on something that, you know, she may or may not use like for the next year or so. So uh, I'm always struggling with which to buy. not built but put together a stroller in the walmart parking lot baby thank goodness for a husband that was in the military or i'm sure like 
hunting husbands or whatever um, <laughs> all have like pocket knives and all these different things like in random places. So thankfully Curtis had his pocket knife in his car because I would not have been able to get the zip ties off of the stroller. So um, it's all put together. I ended up going with the Baby Trend jogging stroller. Whether or not it's like actually a good jogging stroller, I don't know. But it was a little bit more than just a regular single umbrella stroller. And the tires are better. Bigger and better, baby. Uh-oh. And so anyway, so I put that together. Now we're going to head to the animal. Now we're going to head to Magic Kingdom and um, I, I'm happy. I think that this is going to just do what I need it to do. Um, it's nothing fancy. It's going to be great. There's a little area on the bottom, like a little basket to hold things. And so I think it's just going to be better than getting the umbrella stroller. So we're going to head to Magic Kingdom now. Punky, you took your shoes off and your ponytail out. You stinker. Okay, we're heading to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Yay! Here we go. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed, keeping your hands. Is it a monorail day or a ferry boat day? I always go for the ferry boat. But I'm thinking maybe it's a monorail day. Why not? Let's change it up. can do. She's two and a half and she's not quite big enough to ride most things like the big rides. Um, actually I want to go take her over to the barnstormer and see if she's hit that extra half inch that she needs to be able to ride the barnstormer even though I think if we ride that without Curtis he may be a little upset. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna measure her for that and then ride all of the rides that she can ride. Okay we did a little bathroom break <laughs> really quick. But also, I'm pretty hungry, and Crystal Palace actually had a has a 10 minute walk up list, wait list, but it's a buffet, so I don't know. That's gonna be difficult with a toddler. You're not a pirate. You can't be on stage. Say R. Currently, Pirates has a 55 minute wait. All the wait times are actually fairly long. I feel like today it's a busy Monday. So I'm kind of surprised that the lines are as long as they are for the rides because it's almost time for the Festival of Fantasy Parade and lots of people are already sitting down waiting. Uh, can you get your bucket? Get your bucket. What do you say? Can you say thank you? Thank you. Okay, so in the time that we waited for the popcorn, I actually got a reservation for Liberty Tree Tavern. We're gonna go eat at Liberty. This is, what we're, this is how we're feeling right now. We're gonna go to Liberty Tree Tavern, which will be my first time, and obviously Lane's. It'll be the first time I've ever eaten there. So that's exciting. I think it's gonna be a yummy filling meal. So let's go. A little popcorn appetizer while we wait. If you don't know, Liberty Tree and all the sit down restaurants are the only places in the Magic Kingdom that you can get a cocktail. I did get a glass of Sauvignon Blanc, so. The first course is a salad with a shallot honey vinaigrette, and it is delicious. And they were out of the Sauvignon Blanc, so I had to do a Pinot Noir. Okay, that salad is so yummy. And they serve family style meals, so a little bit of everything. Some mac and cheese, some gravy. Very excited, it looks very good. 
I think we're gonna be in a food coma. Lane, is it good? Thumbs up? That's not a thumbs up. She likes it. Okay, cheerful. <laughs> Is it good? For dessert, it's toffee cake. And it is delicious. Just finished our lunch at Liberty Tree Tavern, and it was so good. If you need a break from regular park food, it's a heavier meal, so I'm gonna be ready. This is so much better than our Uppa Baby double stroller. It is moving around the park so easily. It is so smooth. It holds everything that I needed to. And it was inexpensive. <laughs> More inexpensive than other strollers, I should say. So, I like it. It's been great. I've never noticed these benches before. Over across from Ariel's Grotto. That's fun, they've got little seashells. Very cute. I wonder if those are new or I just haven't ever noticed it. It's another one right here. Right across from the aerial meet and greet. Bee. Whoa! <laughs> you are clumsy today. <laughs> I, 
Okay, so bummer. Lane's still not tall enough for Barnstormer. Almost though, like her, I mean, literally, she's about to touch the top, but not quite. So we're just walking around. I'm hoping she takes a nap. Okay, so we are melting down, so I think we're probably gonna have to head out. But in the car, I think I might do a little update, life, up, life update, so this little one. I was hoping she was gonna take a nap so that I could do a little life update, sit down, chit chat while we were here, but not in the cards, I don't believe. I was gonna go through the castle, but the stage show's going on. So we only got one thing done today and lunch, but that's okay. Some days are that way. Okay, we made it back to the car and it is hot. It's 94 degrees here. Like, it's very hot. <laughs> so make sure you're drinking your waters. Um, bring your water when you come. Which actually made me think, like I have these linked down in my description. Uh, the SM brand of water bottles our water stayed cold all day long. Even sitting in the stroller out in the heat, um, all the water stayed cold. Ours, they're so beat up because we've had them for so long. But both Lane and I had the SM. And I really love the Disney collection that they have, um, or the, their collaboration. But I highly recommend this brand of water bottles. No! Mm -mm. Our water. <laughs> Our water stayed here. Our water stayed cold all day long. So make sure when you're coming here, especially in the summer, baby. Woo! It's toasty. The car was just fire whenever we got in here. So we look real sweaty and real cute, you know. But since she was just like melting down, really, it's past her nap time. So I'm sure as soon as I drive off, she's gonna fall asleep. I just wanted to do like a couple of updates about things going on. First is I finished like the first week of my being on the floor on labor and delivery and it's just so exciting. If you've followed or seen my videos in the past about everything that's happened on my journey to get here, it's just kind of crazy that it's actually happening now. Really excited the first week and it was broken up so three days is our week as nurses if you didn't know that so i've had three days on the floor doing labor and delivery delivered two babies labored two mamas and i just love it i'm very passionate about helping women have babies and i love babies and it's it's crazy actually it's funny it's ironic because I actually don't like babies they're very scary um, when you first start taking care of them because it's just they're so fragile but also so strong it's the craziest thing but it's very intimidating you never want to make a mistake in general in medical but especially with babies it's like it's very nerve-wracking, but I love it now. I feel way more confident and comfortable caring for babies. And so anyway, that all has been going so well so far. And then we just did our pre-approval process to buy a house. And so I'm hoping that means
Okay, so as I was saying, we started the pre-approval process to buy a house and I am so darn excited. I have said this a hundred thousand times at this point, but I need a house. Yes, I did the collapse. I, I apologize. I was not trying to be rude, but I need a house and so i'm very excited we finally went through the pre-approval process uh we haven't heard anything yet but i'm very hopeful very confident that they'll approve us for something baby because i am um, at this point i'll take anything i'll take anything over 600 square feet and two bedrooms and two bathrooms but so that's exciting. I can't wait to continue taking you on the journey of us either building or buying a house. Some way, somehow, we are gonna do it. It's exciting. The kids are getting out of school. Man, stop. Okay, <laughs> now that we're about to be home. I just wanted to finish saying, well, first of all, this girl, like I said, she was out as soon as we pulled out of the Disney parking lot. Uh, she was done. She was toast. Kind of stinks because our commute using like toll roads and stuff is like 25 to 28 minutes. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get her out of the car and transfer her up to bed. Not very confident that that's going to work out. But. I was just gonna finish and say, kids only have one more week of school, which is so insane. I cannot believe how fast the year has gone by and that we're already like at the end of the school year. It's so crazy. And it's crazy because like, that means, you know, we've almost been here for an entire school year. Our one year of being here will be not until September, but yeah, so school is almost out. Luna's gonna go to her first like dance and Lennon, she lost a tooth yesterday. And so she's graduating kindergarten and it's just so wild and so many changes are happening around here. You know, everyone's growing up. We do have Lane on a list for daycare um, starting in September. So I'm hoping like going through the summer, it's gonna work out with her being home and Curtis having to work. Uh, Cause that's the biggest thing is like making sure that when I'm at work, like he can get some rest since he is working that second shift. So anyway, hopefully we can make it till September with Luna being home this summer. She can help out with lane a lot and so it's just crazy it's so crazy so yeah those are some of our family updates things that are going on hopefully we will have some more updates on our housing situation soon and i am fairly certain it's going to be a build like a semi-custom build process just based on the market right now which is a plus and a minus you know we've done this before twice and so i know how it goes you know it's just constantly you never know things are getting pushed back things are behind schedule and so timing wise i'm really not looking forward to doing a build but at the same time it is nice to be able to pick some of your own things for your house your warranty everything like that is a plus so more updates on that i hope that you enjoyed mine and lane's little day around magic kingdom got to have a yummy lunch liberty tree tavern it was very yummy expensive expensive um we got to ride on the small world and really for me it's like it's just walking around and the way that uh magic kingdom just makes me feel just so happy and it's still so surreal that we really live here but yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoy and i'll check you in the next video